Another thing to think about before your kids head back to school is what's on their phones and tablets. Apps can be helpful, but they can also open students of all ages up to dangers, whether they intend for them to or not. So set some ground rules, know what they're downloading, and keep up with what's on their phones. School is, is, uh, is a great place for kids to share information, and sometimes it's not always the best information. Uh, I think it's important that parents uh, consider being the administrator to any device that their children has, uh, whether it's a, a phone, laptop, a tablet. Being the administrator allows the parent to have complete control over what's downloaded and many of these apps are problematic. Many of these problematic apps, uh, they appear inconspicuous, such as a calculator, and with a numeric password, it opens up a vault where you can have inappropriate photos or videos. You know, set some house rules, and you know, some of those house rules might be that uh, computer search histories are never deleted. That's a house rule. Uh, that all passwords that are required for you know, uh, applications are shared with the parent. Be, be suspicious. Uh, kids are kids are kids, and they're they're smart. Go to like their app store and do a search as to what's been downloaded, and maybe even query uh, uh, words like secret, hidden, uh, private. I really don't think that there's really an age that's too young to be introduce this. Uh, much like we, we talk about strangers and things in the physical world, we need to begin talking about strangers and dangers in the virtual world. Deputy Skipper says that these apps are always changing too and more are always created, so don't get fixated on one in particular. He says one of the best ways to keep up with your kids is to do a check of what they've downloaded in the App Store or the Galaxy Store and research the ones that you don't know. You can also buy parental controls and trackers to watch their messages and what they're doing on social media. We've got all that information for you right now at WTSP.com.